Hello! How are y'all doing this fantastic, wonderful, dreary, cold Monday? <laughs> hey, this is the day that the Lord's made. Some of you said the other day that you'd never heard the expression, doing good as, as long as I'm above ground. But hey, that's the way I feel. We are above ground and we are doing good. Whew, it is one o'clock. I had fully, fully, fully intended to be at the grocery store early cause I was gonna get back and Holly was coming to help me clean. And uh, she had to go to the doctor. She's got some staph infection on her face. She's afraid her face is going to rot off, <laughs> which is not. Um, okay, in case y'all ask, that's a, that's a pretty good move there, isn't it? Y'all, I never know. This is Times Square by whom? Oh, all the stuff is rubbed off. There's not a marking on there. 18C3 Times Square. Hmm. Is that by? See, they dry real quick, and I and so I usually put a little bit of gloss on top of it. I didn't put on a whole lot of makeup, just a little bit to help paint the barn. And I don't have very far to go. I'm just going to Walmart, but I thought I'd chat with you and try to bring you along a little bit today. Ah, <sighs> well, let me just say. <laughs> it's a 100% chance of rain tomorrow, 90 the next day, 80 the next day. So we are looking at major rain and uh, it rained all day yesterday. I know it's been raining a lot of places. It's even raining in California and we know it never rains in California. The girl, don't they warn ya. <laughs> I love... I love that that stupid holder never holds anymore. Well, we've only got a few miles to go to Walmart. Just hold it, Suzanne, just hold it. And I could put it on my stick and bring it, but I never remember that. I have a new magnetic holder and another holder. And do I remember to get them out and to put them in the car? No. Oh, y'all, these goats right here. Yes, I said goats. There's a little farm here. They have some baby goats and they are like the cutest little thing it's just a little it's just a, some little farmland there but um while i was saying you can call it climate change you can call it all that but i'm just telling you the um yes this truck is turning beside me going who are you talking to I'm talking to my friends <laughs> don't you have any friends <laughs> um the Bible says that the earth will groan because of all the sin and junk that's in it, and the earth is groaning. I just believe that we're leading up to the days, and you can say, well, I've heard that all my life, that the Lord is coming back, but hey, don't be like the ten virgins. Five were wise and five were foolish. Five missed the bridegroom. Five kept their lamps trimmed, and they were ready when the Lord, when the groom came. And we got to be ready when the Lord comes back. But you know, that's just one of those fleeting moments there. But I, this Bible class, y'all, that I'm taking, it is the bomb diggity. But we've had about 25 pages of homework, of reading, and questions. I think it's the longest chapter. Last week was just life changing and I expect tomorrow night to be the same. I expect every week to be that. I think it's just gonna be that great. Um, but I have been doing, I did some studying this morning before I turned on the television, did anything, sat down and did my studying. I think I lacked two pages. And so Reed and Rhett both have basketball games tonight, but I don't think I'm gonna go, John might go. But I've got a hefty menu Every five weeks will be, uh, okay, we got a police car down here. What is going on? Let me see. In the road, so I don't know if they've had a wreck or what. It's like they were washing the road down. But um, every five weeks, 
there's like three of us that'll fix desserts, not desserts, but food um, for Bible study. So I'm hoping tomorrow night. And I told one of the ladies, she lives in Birmingham. I told her, I said, there's some great bakeries. And I said, I want you to pick up your stuff. So I'm making Rotel dip, you know, with the Velveeta, the Rotel and the cheese uh, and the meat. And I'm making a corn dip that'll be warm uh, when I take it out of the oven. I'll take it out of the oven before I get there. And then I'm making buffalo chicken dip. So it's going to be a dippy kind of night tomorrow night. <laughs> they had baked potatoes and salads last week. And I said, these people fix food. In my Bible study, we just did snacks. Um, but of course, I got over there and I haven't had a potato since John and I started on Trim Healthy Mama. So I didn't eat one, but goodness, I wanted one. And uh, But I ate the salad, and I have eaten a few uh, bites of desserts, which I've got to get off of that. I can't do that. So, I'm fixing all the dips for tomorrow night. And what I'm going to do, and of course, I'll buy several bags of chips. There's about 17 or 18 of us. But what I'm going to do tomorrow evening is I'm going to bake some of the large, I mean, some of the low-calorie tortillas, the wraps. I'm going to bake me some. Thank you, Lord, for a parking place up front. <laughs> And I'm gonna bake some of the low carb tortilla chips so that I can eat, because I can eat some of the dips, I just don't need the chips. So that's what I'm gonna do. But you see how long it takes me to get to Walmart? About seven or eight minutes. But I have a huge grocery bill for mother, a huge one, very big one for me, because I'm making all the extra stuff and I did a menu for Trim Healthy Mama the whole week. We're having salsa verde um, chicken tonight with salad. And, um, so my mom decided to stay home, which helps me a lot and that, but it's still hard to get to grocery bills. So I'm fixing to go in here and do that. And I'll check back in with y'all later. Bye. Well, as the old joke goes, <laughs> sister Tucker is Tucker now. <laughs> sister lights, lights, bow out. I just delivered. <laughs> her hundred and something dollar worth of groceries and now I gotta go home and unload my almost two hundred dollar worth of groceries well, two hours later I'm coming out of Walmart oh and that's not even the best part you ready for the best part they didn't have some of the stuff I needed pet peeve rant I appreciate Walmart having their own brand that's discounted for people who really are shopping for bargains. And sometimes I buy great value, sometimes I don't. But what I hate is when Walmart quits carrying stuff all together so that you can buy their great value brand. <sighs> Did y'all know that Walmart does not carry Mexi corn anymore? A corn dip. To make for tomorrow night that calls for Mexi corn. The the corn casserole <clears throat> that I make during the holidays calls for Mexi corn. Well I haven't been able to find it and I know why now they don't carry it any longer. I'm probably gonna mess with this and it's probably gonna fall. They don't carry Mexi corn any longer. I said why? <laughs> I probably said it just like that. <laughs> I, we don't know. We don't know. And I said, well, I need it. Okay, just, can you go? Oh, they, and so they had nothing. So can you go get me the Fiesta corn out of the back? I can use that. You know, it's got a few black beans in it. So it's a girl I graduated with, and she's pulling it up, and she's standing there talking to another guy, and she's like, oh, this is not good. And I'm like, what? You don't carry the Fiesta corn anymore? And she's like, no, it's on recall. <laughs> I said, well... In case you've got any Fiesta corn, let's not go get it. So now I'm going to another grocery store with my car loaded down with groceries. I'm going to another grocery store. Yeah, I got a birthday Sunday. So I think we're going out to eat after church. I told Ashley, no cake, no cake, because I ate some of her birthday cake and it was so dadgum sweet. It is, 
It's not just because we've not been eating sweets. Oh, I'm <clears throat> squirrel. <laughs> yeah, one of my sweet friends, Lynette Chapman from Oklahoma, she found a shirt the other day. It had something on there about squirrel. And I said, oh my gosh, I need that. <laughs> I need that in a 2X, please. <laughs> I am so squirrel. What was, I, what was I mixing the squirrel to? Oh, I made some of the best no-bake oatmeal cookies. You know, you make those with peanut butter and oatmeal and all that stuff. But I've been making them on keto. And I finally got the right balance that is so good. Because I've cut some of the cocoa back. And instead of using peanut butter in this, instead I use some peanut butter. Um you use pressed peanut flour in it and then uh, butter and all that kind of stuff and oh I made the best blend of it last night it was so good okay so I wonder if I leave my phone up here if like some of the rednecks may break into my car and try to steal it are you saying there's rednecks where you live heck yeah I'll be right back Okay, so nobody broke in. I'm just gone a few minutes. Y'all, I don't, I don't price shop. I know that's awful to me, but I just don't. The little local store is a lot higher. Is it dollar fifty-seven? Isn't that a lot for these small cans of Mexi corn? Six dollars and something for four cans. Y'all have to tell me. I'm awful. I'm not a price shopper. Sorry. Well, this is why. <laughs> this is why <laughs> in a long time I used to look at prices but I can't even remember them now but for years for the last several years that I worked John got off he before he became full-time director he got off at 3 30 and 4 o'clock because he started work at 6 that's when he was just a technician so he'd get off at 3.30 and 4. And he'd say, Mary, what you need? I'll run by Walmart. Well, I'd just let him go by Walmart and get what I needed. And, but that was during the time after Cece died. And that's when we really started doing this, was after she died and I just got so sick. I was just so sick. And uh, so overworked, so under so much stress at work. I loved my job, y'all, but I had so much stress on me. And uh, so he just got to where he'd go get stuff and he'd just have it there and I'd cook in the evenings or he'd pick up something and we'd eat, you know, something like that. So that's when they made fun of me at work because I never went to Walmart. They were like, must be nice never having to go to Walmart. And I said, it really is. <laughs> I'm sorry that y'all don't have that privilege, but it wasn't a very good reason why I wasn't going. But that's, we got into that. So, I can't hardly tell you what things cost. Isn't that awful? I just know what I'm going to use. And, but now I compare, I'll compare prices while they're on the shelf. You know, and then if I see something that's cheaper that I think that'll be as good. But I just said that I could not play. What is that game? The Price is Right. I could not play that game. I would so lose in that game. I'd be horrible. Oh, me. It's, you know, last week I had rigs three different days and two nights. And because of the flu. And then Ashley was gone this weekend. And we kept him to help Michael. Because the boys had basketball games back to back. The other grandparents helped to get them because they're two different games. They're going to be at two different games tonight. And then, um, I don't know what you do when you have three and they play <laughs> different places. But anyway, um, so that was to help Michael. And of course, we really enjoy Riggs right now because he's just at a good age. And it's good to get to have him by, our, by himself some instead of the big boys just, you know, monopolizing the time. But And we like to keep them separate like alone because it's Reed's turn next to stay alone because Rhett got to stay a couple months ago so I'll tell you my back is screaming right now it's it's in whatever pain I have is in my upper back it's like in between my shoulder blades and it 
doesn't always stay flared up, praise God. But when it does, it stays flared up, usually for weeks. And so it's like a grabbing pain. I can pull a certain way and it absolutely makes me scream. It hurts so bad. So somebody had said on couponing girls uh, thing, which some people just are out to be ugly. They probably didn't even mean it, but they had said that she was faking and she was just doing it to be off work. Y'all, she is not the kind of girl to sit home in the apartment all day. Now, you give me a week to stay home and not have to go anywhere, I'd be happy, happy. I like staying home, but she's 30 years old. She's not faking it. People that say, see, I've told her this. If I was her, I wouldn't even respond to them because that's what they're wanting. They're wanting attention. And if I was her, I just wouldn't even respond to them. But whatever, you learn, you get wiser as you get older and you don't care as much. I'm a busy woman. Oh, the mail didn't run today because it's President's Day. I didn't even know it was President's Day. Didn't know the kids were out of school. Didn't know any of that. Um, so I'm not complaining. It may sound like I'm complaining, but listen, I'm blessed. I'm blessed to have my mother. I am so super blessed to be able to keep my grandkids and and like Ashley went off with her high school friends and her college friends. I'm so glad she gets to do that. And I'm so glad she has been friends with these girls since the third grade. Is that not a tremendous blessing? Is it not? So, um, I told her the other day, I said, I gave her money for her birthday because she went shop. They went shopping when they were in Atlanta or they were outside of Atlanta. And um, I told her, I, I said, I am so blessed to have a daughter like you. And I said, we were talking because, you know, some people she talks to doesn't have good memories of growing up and doesn't have the greatest relationship with her mother's now. And we're just so close and we don't argue. And it is my goal in life to help her, you know. Uh, John and I decided this weekend that we wanted to bless them with their new house, building it. We have been blessed to have some money. And I told her today, I said, get with Michael and tell him that we want to buy one of your appliances. And I feel like she needs a new washer and dryer because she's had those for nine or 10 years. And um, not that they, I had a Kenmore that lasted me 20 years. But she washes so much, she really could use a bigger washer and dryer. And so we're, you know, I'm just so happy to be able to do that for them. We may not be able to do that always. So, but I told her, I said, Ash, was I a good mama? <laughs> she said, she got big old tears in her eyes. She said, mama, you've been the greatest mom. I have great memories. And I said, well, I know I had a ball. <laughs> Were you growing up? She took piano, she took dance, she took voice, she did pageants. And it was just me and her for most of the time because her daddy worked six days a week. And uh, so it was just me and her most of the time. And I just told her, I said, well, I know I had a blast uh, raising you. You were challenging at times. I said, but I had a blast. And she said, Mama, you were so good. And I said, she said, I'm so thankful because I hear, she was saying she hears other people talk. And, um, and that she, you know, she's so thankful that we have such a good relationship. But let me tell you how that God works in the very simple things of your life. I believe that no matter what we talk to the Lord about, that he hears. Now, if you pray and ask him to let your daughter win a beauty pageant, <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs> she may not win because it's just not meant for her to win. And it's, you know, but there are times when it may seem really stupid to other people for you to pray and ask for something. But my car keys have been missing for three weeks, three weeks. So we have an extra key to this car, but it had the key to mother's house on it. It had the key to her safe deposit box. Well, it's really a, a burn box that I've got. And it had my post office mark, I mean, my post office box key. So I have looked 
everywhere. Because I usually lay them in the kitchen, on the bar, on the counter, or on the kitchen table. I need to get me, and I, I want to really now, get me a little hanger at the back door. So last week I got real serious. I looked and I looked and I looked and I looked and I couldn't find them. And I told John, I said, John, you know, I'm gonna have to get my brother to make an extra key for me for mother. Cause I mean, you know, I'm the closest to her. And if she was to get in a bind, I couldn't get to her. And I was kind of freaking about that. So last week I said, Lord, I really, really need to find these car keys. I really need for these keys to be revealed. And I said, you know, if they're lost and gone, just, you know, help me to have a peace about it and to quit looking for them if we've thrown them away or something. I said, but, you know, I got to have a key to get in my mother's house. And I just really need you to help me to find the keys to my car. And so several days last week, and I said, Father, you know, this is important to me. This is very significant. And I know it's significant to you because it is to me. Yesterday morning, we were getting ready to go to church and I did not feel like going to church. I did not feel like getting ready. There wasn't a bone in my body hardly that wasn't hurting. And I was just Lord, I had washed my hair before I'm getting to wear. I make sure my hair is washed so that I don't have to wash it on Sunday morning because my arms hurt so bad when I have to dry it and straighten it. And so, but I had gotten up and John knew I was struggling. And he said, you gonna be able to make it, babe? And I said, I'm going, I'm going, John. I'm going, I'm just gonna tell you, I'm going. It's a sacrifice. He's gonna bless me and I'm going. So we were just about ready to go and John said, come here and look. And he was pointing out one of the windows that goes to our porch. And he said, look, and I said, is it a squirrel? Because there's been a big old fat squirrel that's been getting on our porch. And he said, look, and I said, I don't see nothing. He said, lean over and look right this way. And I said, I don't, what is it? Is it a squirrel? Is What is it? And he said, look lower, look like where those um, books are on the table. And when I looked down, the back of my keys were hanging out from under those books. In the cleaning out that I had done, I had cleaned, I'd moved a bunch of books and I had got a bunch of craft books that I didn't want any longer. And so I had them stacked up and I was going to see if somebody wanted them. Obviously, my keys got laid down and then some books must have got laid down on top of it. And just the back edge the, well, let me just show you. Turn this off. This little thing was hanging down off the back. He just happened to look out the window. And when he saw those books, this little thing, and they were just like flattened out under there. You know, they wasn't causing any bulk because there was a bunch of them. And I was like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm telling you, I was praising the Lord. He cares about the simplest of things in our lives. Now, Lord, I really need a Mercedes. Well, do you? <laughs> Lord, I need to lose 100 pounds. And he says, keep trying. Keep doing trim healthy mama and I'll help you. <laughs> but this was important. I needed these keys. But I have mother's keys and I have keys to her lockbox and all that. And so God answers prayers. God answers prayers. He's a great, great God. Now, let me just praise him. Let me just praise him. <laughs> I praise your name that you care about even the simplest things in our lives. I praise you, Lord, for that. I really, really do. I've enjoyed talking to y'all today. It always makes me feel better when I talk to y'all. It always does. I love you. And I hope to be back. Oh, I really hope to get some lessons in this week. So, uh, until we meet again, until we talk again, thank you to all my new subscribers. You never know. And I have met so many wonderful people. Oh, I got a shout out. Let me give a shout out to Judy Nail and Brenda Hollis. And they're going to kill me because I can't remember the other two. Like Rita and Jan that I met at um, Logan's roadhouse of the night judy was ashley's second grade teacher and she is just precious 
Brenda Hollis is a retired educator. One year we had rented a pageant dress for Ashley and when we went and picked it up and brought it home, it lacked this much meeting in the back. Brenda took that dress apart and about an hour for the pageant, she had that baby in that dress. So I ran into them, talked to them, and they were like, well, we go out and lunch as retired educators. We'd like for you to go. And I said, oh, I want to go. And then Brenda told me that another retired educator, Johnny Suchi, who lives in the community where I live, and really, <laughs> the way the crow flies, <clears throat> she's just right across. Okay, now we're going to get country. She's just right across the holler from my mama. <laughs> Y'all know what a holler is, don't you? Holler. So Johnny Suchi. I heard that uh, you watch my videos and that you tell other people about it. And thumbs up to you, girlfriend. I appreciate you and just always thought the world of you and your kids too. And so just so glad to run into some great women and that they're watching my channel now. So I hope it don't disappoint. You'll find something somewhere along the way. You'll get tickled or you'll be uplifted some way. It's my retirement gig and I love doing it. So I love y'all. And the Lord loves you so much. And don't you ever forget that. Talk to you later. Bye.